Caught by undercover cameras, the moment a fox is flushed from underground into a net and into the jaws of a dog. What follows is uncomfortable viewing. In this Essex forest, the dog is detached from the wild animal and then with an ordinary garden fork, the man repeatedly attacks it. These extraordinary images described by some as animal torture were filmed earlier this month. And for animal welfare campaigners, the images are deeply distressing. It's absolutely nothing to do with vermin control. It's just gratuitous torturing. There's, there's no other explanation for it. That's just awful, awful. I was just, I, I really didn't want to, to look at it, but I knew I had to and just like trying not to cry, really. This is private woodland. The fox is thought to have been trapped in an artificially created den before being dug out. There are many unanswered questions and according to an expert in animal welfare legislation, two laws may have been broken. One is under the Hunting Act. Uh, steps have to be taken to shoot it as soon as reasonably possible and that is not done. And the way that the fox is held upside down by its tail and also attacked with the garden fork seems to me to be prima facie evidence of an unnecessary suffering offence under the Animal Welfare Act. A local hunt told us the footage does not involve any of the hunt's employees and is unrelated to any activities of the hunt who were not out hunting on that day. In light of this, the hunt is making further inquiries. What was filmed in these woods is shocking. For many people, it will be the first time they've seen anything like it. But for campaigners, it exposes something they've been saying for a long time. For them, secret filming reveals hidden truths. The 48-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of offences under the Hunting Act and Animal Welfare Act. The ultimate fate of this fox is unknown. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Essex.